Happy Lab Rats. All right, so the other day in the vlogs, I was telling you about some bad news and I was at my parents' house. And blah, 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 blah. I think that was the first time I've been home, I think this year in 2016. And, and so I wasn't in the brightest of spirits. Again, I was only going off like, you know, two hours of sleep. But anyway, I had the chance to um, get out of my funk by almost <laughs> canceling on my friend Amanda. I'm here with Amanda Ma. Hold on. And um, <laughs> I just gave you the news on your show, doshitpodcast.com, look it up, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, doshitpodcast.com. Yes. Look it up, and uh, that's going live on Monday. Mm -hmm. This video is gonna go live tomorrow. Which so is Sunday, so it'll be the day after this video's gone live. Yeah. <laughs> And so we were down there in Lancaster. And this is really cool because when I was growing up in Palmdale, Lancaster area, AV, okay, 661, um, there was nothing like that. Again, like, I also wanna stress that I never went out of my house. So uh, it was just kind of refreshing to go into the AV and see the development that's going down there. And um, I'm just really excited. So I'm walking down and I'm, and I'm looking at everything and things look pretty like, pretty cool. Like I was like, man, I, I thought I was in LA for a second because of all the like industrial exposed brick kind of uh, atmosphere. So it was super fun. I had a chance to sit down with her, we recorded some content for her show, <clears throat> did a little collab. Uh, we talked about said bad news. Don't restrain yourself. If you go big, here's, here's the thing. If you go big, especially since this is a paid event, and you're bootstrapping it, right, and that's cool, and you don't hit the big, big goal, you still have solutions. If you go big and you hit the goal, you would've made enough money to put money down on a venue. Maybe you won't profit, but you'll prep yourself for the next event. Right. So that's what I would say. Okay. Okay. Cool. So it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> um, and we talked about how we could uh, just kind of bounce back from that. <laughs> it feels so much better. Okay, cool. Anything you want to say to the lab rat? Do shit. Do shit. <laughs> not stuff. Not stuff. Do shit. All right. See ya. See ya, guys. And also, I want to give a shout out to... Um, the incubator and uh, LeBron, who we met that day. Really cool cat, um, really enjoyed meeting him. I sat in with a business meeting, Amanda and her team, like Amanda doing her thing and LeBron doing his thing and I got to sit in on their, their little business meeting. So I wanna encourage you guys when you when you face adversity in, by any means is to think strategically and to not think of planning because when you plan it's like, it's like being in traffic. <laughs> And I was thinking of this like analogy, I was like in, in traffic the other day trying to get home. Um, and I was like, man, I can only see a couple cars in front of me. And I started to think like when you're, when you rise above that and you get a bird's eye view of things, then you could see the whole line of thing. You could see this, you could see that, right? And so that's what I feel um, strategizing does. It takes you from being, you know, on the surface level and only being able to see at hand's length, at arm's length, and seeing only your next, you know, one move, two moves, three moves. But when you go up a few levels into the stratosphere, you can see everything. And that's what creating a strategy for yourself does. So I would encourage you guys, when you, when you hit a hurdle in the chain of life, you know, come back up into the stratosphere, get into the clouds and be like, okay, that didn't work out, but we can do this, right? That was a no here, but we can make a yes route over here and we can do something over here, something else. We can pivot, we can do something else, right? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And this is gonna happen all the time. And I was freaking out a little bit. I was stressed out and it's not often that I'm really stressed out where I feel very, like a KO for me. I was just like, oh, I just want to start over. Um, but don't do that. Like, just chill out for a minute. And I know it feels, if you're like me, you feel guilty for not like being productive for like one day. <laughs> it's okay to do that. Uh, chill out, don't do anything, don't touch anything. And I, I feel like I've given this speech before on my vlog of, of, you know, hitting that breaking point again, hitting that breaking point or hitting an obstacle. And you're just like, Okay, so that's that's kind of where I'm at right now, and I think it's a good thing because the more and more I experience this, the, the quicker I bounce back, the quicker I rebound, and, and I think 
the people who are unsuccessful, they don't rebound. They just, they quit and then they go back to whatever is safe, um, you know, whatever's tried and true for them. Um, maybe that's their nine to five job. Maybe that's, you know, um, borrowing money. Maybe that's something that, that they really wanted to get away from, but now they can't because they hit this obstacle or hit this plateau. So um, for me, I just want to encourage you guys, like you're gonna hit hard times and it's gonna feel really shitty, but go to your friends, go to your mentors, um, go to me, you know, leave me some comments on my videos and say, hey, I'm dealing with this right now. How would you even like pivot? How would you even go this way or that way? Cause it sucks to know, to feel that you're alone. You're never alone really. And I often deal with this too, where it's like, I feel like I'm alone, but I'm not. I have my mentor, I have my, friends, my other mentors, I have just people who don't even know that I'm following them on like YouTube or, uh, you know, on the internet. I have my husband, I have my parents, I have my sister, you know, you have so many people that you can go to, but often we don't seek them out because we're too proud or we're too ashamed or we're too fearful of whatever the outcome might be. But I really want to encourage you guys to reach <laughs> to reach out for that because that's when you can create momentum and kind of build on top of those steps and re-strategize even when you're dealing with some shitty news shitty news or bad obstacles or whatever any kind of hardship okay so good thanks and uh, i'm feeling much better thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i'll see you next time here in the lab once again my name is meg reminding you to get in the lab i'll see you Thank you.